Hi there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matt Tomato. Welcome back to our Toka Touring Car Championship here. We are playing the 1998 PS1 version. We're back at Donington Park for rounds 11 and 12, but this is the short version of the track. So there's a slight difference here and also it's raining, so that's terrible for us. Oh dear. So let's see how we get on with this one then. But this is the shorter version of the Donington track. You could see there straight away that there was actually a difference in the approach to the uh to the start finish line there and i think it's just the hairpin bit at the bottom that is cut out uh oh gee uh sorry i'm just uh, adjusting my headset there we go i think it's the hairpin that is cut out at the end of the circuit i think that's what it is i'm not entirely sure um but yeah in the wet disgusting weather uh i know obviously know the circuit very very well but uh this is bad conditions for us so let's see how we get on with it. But yeah, I think my knowledge of the circuit is probably what's going to get us through here. So even though the conditions are rubbish, the fact that I know this circuit very well um, kind of means that even though the weather's bad, I think this is an opportunity to perhaps win both of these races. Um, I think that there is that opportunity there. Um, and it's a great time to do it as well, right in the middle of the season. So... I think, yeah, I think there's going to be a big chance here to make up some ground on the Renaults. So we can see here that normally we would have gone left, but instead it is straight across here and through there. Oh, I nearly nailed that as well. That was nearly an absolute blinder of a, uh, of a move there, but that is a tighter turn than you think it is. So, uh, again, I'm going to cross the line at a similar speed to what the uh the spawn in does uh and so far the fact that it's wet has not impacted me that much and i think it's just because i know the circuit so very very well and i know where the traps are i know and i mean it's still probably going to end up going off at some point but yeah i know how to i know how to use this circuit also it's a bit wider than uh, the two previous ones that we've just used uh alton park and brown's hat the track is a lot wider so there's a bit more margin for error here as well uh i say that as a screw i mean it doesn't matter i've already screwed the lap up but there is there is a bit more of a margin for error when it comes to the track so like if you if you happen to take a turn a little bit you've got a little bit more space before you actually end up running onto the grass so whereas obviously at Alton Park uh, very very narrow um, so very difficult to I just wonder actually I've already screwed this lap up so I just wondered whether it's possible to do this it's such a cheat but technically that is possible but I don't know whether it's actually quicker or not I mean even then I actually yeah I made a faster lap there even though I sent it off the track. That's ridiculous. Oh, I've done it again. So 116 is going to be our time, I think. Um, yeah, so actually, um, the wet is a little bit of a problem. Because um, normally I would have taken that one flat out 110 and it would have been fine. Uh, but I think because it's wet, you can't do that. So this one the same. You can sometimes take this at 100. But yeah, I'm having to take it at like 90 odd. So... And that's because of the conditions. So so even though the track is fairly fast, the Audis are probably going to do a bit better here. So we'll have to watch out for them. Yeah, it's a lot harder because it's wet. I'm having to take them at 90 instead of 100. So, yeah, it's not, not ideal. But I imagine there's a magic point to crossing this section down here. Like, ah, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there is, because there's a big pile of tarmac here. That's such a potential cheat area, though. My God. The potential to just cheat that. There's so much risk involved with it, but nevertheless. Uh, right, we did awful, by the way. We are in 12th position. So we need another six seconds in qualifying. Uh, and that's really bad, to be honest, because uh, there's only eight laps. Uh, but yeah, that's really, really bad. We need to make up some ground and fast. Uh, 
Uh, I'm the only person on the outside here. It nearly paid off. I was a bit unlucky to get spun there. Because I was very nearly in amongst the front runners straight away. I took a gamble by doing that. Uh, that's our, that's my teammate in front, so I'd rather not send him off the track, but I think I just did. Yikes. Oh! Nearly lost it there. Shit. Right, eighth position. Uh, okay, that's tolerable at the moment. Considering we started in 12th, I think I'll take eighth position halfway around the first lap. Definitely going to go down the... Oh, I, tr I thought about going down the inside and I changed my mind because it's a Honda. And it nearly, nearly didn't work and I nearly ended up spinning off. But as it happens, I actually made it through there fairly okay. Actually, that bit of grass there is not too bad either. Okay, I made it through there fairly okay. And I think I've got the slipstream on this Nissan, so I will go past the Nissan. It's whether he cuts across after. Ooh! Nearly drove, nearly completely rear-ended that Volvo. But I did did still drive into the back of him, but it was nearly a total rear-ending, which would have been a warning. Uh, but we're in fourth, and we can see all three of the front runners here. Uh, which is nice, actually. It means we're right in the thick of it. We need to stay with them. Uh, I haven't yet identified a, a spot to catch them up, but the Audi did just go... Oh, brake, stop. Yeah, I had to stop there. The Audi went sl sliding all over the place, and it sort of put me off. Right, the only good thing about that was by the time I got up to fourth gear and up to 88 miles an hour, it meant I didn't actually have to slow down for the bend. So... I'm tempted to take a punt with the so-called shortcut across there. I feel like that's also a good way to do it. Oh, when I say that, I've just gone and screwed it up. Oh, no. If you can get it right, that's a good way to do it. But I'm losing ground more than I'm gaining it now. That's the problem. I'm, I'm losing... And again, that's partly due to me not doing very well but also I think it's also to do with the fact that it is wet and these turns that I would normally take very well this is a Renault back here uh very surprised that a Renault is back here I'm going to send you straight off I imagine he, he will just join in at the bottom here though yeah there he is yeah okay uh but that's kind of good to know that the Renault isn't doing so well And again, it's to do with the wet. So the Renault, I suppose the Renault is a bit like me in that doesn't do all that well in the wet conditions. The Renault seems to suffer more than I do, though, even though I'm not doing well. Oh, that's stupid. That was a really stupid move. I don't know what I was doing there. I just took it way too much. I put far too much in the joystick and just it just, it just went so tight that... I messed it up completely. I'm going to go for this shortcut here. Now I can't turn. But that's okay. I don't know whether I gained any ground by doing that. Could have come. That could have been a lot worse though. Yeah, again, so I took that at 88, whereas normally I can take that at 100. Okay, that was better. Oh, I am actually catching these two here. This is a Volvo in front. It's that bend again! There's something about this bend. And it's pure. I mean, it's purely because it's wet. Because I've never had a problem with that bend. I keep losing it on that very same bend. 
And it's incredible. It's completely stuffing me over. Oh my god. This is another one of these bad ones. No, don't go in the pits. Again, I'm not doing very well here. This is another one to forget, I think. This is like the Brands Hatch one. I think I'm trying too hard because it's because it, it's wet. I think I'm I'm trying too hard and it's just messing me up. I need to calm it down. I think. I've already lost so much ground anyway. There's only two and a half laps to go, so I can see two cars up there. Right? Can I stop screwing this bend up, please? There we go. Okay. Oh, for God's sake! That was entirely my fault. Oh, it's so poor. I mean, it, yeah, there are cars behind there as well. I mean, fastest lap. How on earth? Because I've probably spun on every lap. I haven't strung one good lap together yet in this race. And it's costing me massively. It doesn't matter how quick I go through these ones. I'm just not going to catch anybody here, I don't think. Can't even limit the damage. You took it too wide then. Jesus. With a bit of luck... I might be able to catch these two in front. Fifth place is still not great, but any any jump at the moment, I'll take it. Ah, oh, keep spinning out there. There's something about that as well. I think I go too tight into the bend. And as a result, I, I lose it. lost it there as well uh, this is poor this is so bad I might even lose seventh place here god this is actually fairly depressing oh my god Do you remember what I was saying I, oh yeah I can, I've identified this one and I can win both of these races and I'm going to catch up to the two Renaults <laughs> Feel free to ask what kind of booze I'm on. <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Absolutely terrible. Might have to do a brand's hatch here, though. And, uh... Like, jump straight into the next one without taking the... I may have... I don't know. I might do. I might not. And that worked quite well for Brands Hatch because I went from ninth to, uh, to second. I'm going to actually overtake this Volvo here, though. Whether he comes back at me, that's the issue. Oh dear. Yeah, that was poor. I was too busy worrying about the Volvo. Rather than concentrating on my own driving around that around that bend. And that is a bend I hardly ever mess mess up as well. I'm 
I'm gonna get another shot at passing this guy though. Yeah, I'll take him out. That's the easiest way. <laughs> when in doubt, wipe him out. <laughs> I'm just so confused by this bend, how how to take that bend properly. And luckily I wiped the Vol funnily enough, wiping out the Volvo has saved my ass there because I would have been in a worse spot. Oh god, just not happening. Not happening. Losing more and more ground. It's incredible. Right, but that's it for now, so cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matthew Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series, and join me next time for race two here at the Short Donington, which will be round 12 of the Toka Touring Car Championship. See you later.